Hi there again everyone, Josie here from Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here in my channel. Today I'm going to be creating three easy Dollar Tree DIYs for you. For how many years now I have been using the fall colors on our, our home decor, but lately I'm kind of leaning towards the white, black, gray, and even kind of like a celadon green combination or hunter green. So I'm planning on doing that instead of buying new items because I want to be able to save money. I'm going to be changing the colors of my pumpkins. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be painting, but right now, as you can see, I'm already removing the embellishments. Okay, because what I'm going for is more farmhouse theme and um you know and that's why i'm gonna be putting in my own color so i'm gonna be using this michael's as well as walmart sells this in inexpensively in like 50 cents a bottle probably different brands but the same acrylic type paint or art paint and then this one is the chalk paint so I got here, I know that I said gray and black and white, so you know that when you mix black with white, it'll be gray. So let me just paint the ones that are white, and then I will color the rest, either gray or black. I suggest applying a couple of coats of paint whether it's an acrylic paint or the chalk paint so that you can have a better finish and you will not see through the paint the old paint and all you can see would be the new finish or the new paint that you've chosen and that you applied so again a couple of coats I don't think you can do it with just one coat maybe even three coats if you prefer so here I'm, paint, I'm mixing the acrylic paints, the black and the white to make a gray acrylic paint because I forgot to pick up a gray acrylic paint. So that's why I'm just using the mixture. So just a tip for you there, if you don't have a color, try to make it, okay? So yeah, so see here, it's now gray. So that I can see easily handle the pumpkin, I used a pencil and I stuck it inside this pumpkin so that it's easier for me to paint. Now you can use also skewers or popsicle sticks or crab sticks as long as you have something that you can hold on to. So I'm trying to pick from the embellishments that I have removed and see what I can use as leaves or embellishments on these newly painted pumpkins. So some of them, if you decide not to paint the embellishments any color like this one, this one would work well against this creamy white pumpkin without adding any color to the maple leaves. And I'm just trying things out, but then I've decided that I will add a little bit of paint not dip them or spray paint them but i'm thinking probably give them like a brush stroke finish so that they will look a little bit kind of frosted i don't know i think of fall as cool crisp air and there are some parts of the country that during fall they will already experience snowfall i don't know if i'm making any sense but yeah I just want to capture that there plus it mutes down the color so I've decided to paint this as an example I'm using a small watercolor brush and I'm just applying dabs of paint and just following the direction of the grain or texture of the leaves and other embellishments Still showing some of the colors there on the embellishments, so it's kind of muted. It's kind of like you frosted it. <laughs> yep, so that's it. And then look at this. Isn't that nice? So just add a little bit more 
on here. Just a touch. There you go. So at least the colors, the color schemes have changed. As you can see here, my kind of frosted style. But I'm gonna see how it's gonna look the overall finish. But I'm gonna paint this as well with my chalk paint rather than spray paint it. I will be attaching one of the gray pumpkins on top of the glass candlestick holder that I have just painted with chalk paint. So it's either you put the glue here or here, doesn't matter. The theme of the season will change for me down the road. I can just dismantle them. Okay, so this one was from my Mother's Day gift ideas and I'm going to be linking it up here so I'm not even going to change this I'm just going to put something on top which is the gray one okay because it matches also the raffia here so I just want to show you how this thing looks like it gave it a little bit of a different kind of finish you see kind of like what I'm trying to achieve here and I hope I did achieve is kind of like I'm making it like a whitewash frosted. The orange is still showing because that's predominantly the color of fall. And then here's one that I did for Mother's Day. I didn't replace the succulent because, you know, succulents are all year round. They survive all year round. At least in our garden they do. <laughs> and then this is a fake bird. And then that's the nest I created from this, which I got also from the Dollar Tree. These are the natural raffia. They came in three bundles. And this is the one that I used. Okay, so this is the one that I used for that. This raffia. And I use it as a nest. And I like this bird. So I prepped this for like Mother's Day or springtime. But this bird has the gray in it. So I'm just going to keep it there. I like trying to keep it warm there in its nest. And I still have my uh, pumpkin that I painted gray using the acrylic paint mixed up the black and the white acrylic paint so uh, yeah and I'm gonna touch up if I see anything that's really orange on the body here's another one here and this one comes in teal or turquoise as well as gray and white I like the fact that when I was looking for the white I found gray and back then I was like oh I was looking for white but now that I like gray so much I'm just glad I found this so I'm going to have kind of like a different kind of height here. And I'm just going to put that on top. And then I have more of this raffia. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. So this one comes in different, uh, different sizes. This is the smallest size. There are medium and the large ones. And they come in different finish as well. I think there's also a tan and then a dark brown. Okay. So uh, yeah, so I'm just going to be cutting this because this is just too thick. So I'm just going to put a little bit of it. Okay, my scissor. Okay. And I can just glue it in. So I'm just going to stuff it in here. Okay. So I'm going to be putting this here and maybe I'm gonna put three only so it just adds a little bit of dimension or texture this uh, rattan balls okay I still see some orange showing up and I'm gonna touch them up okay see that and then I'm just gonna glue this okay yeah okay and now I also have this twine and I got this at Daiso but the Dollar Tree sells some twines too so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add twine here I already have twine here a lighter shade of twine that I got at the hardware section of the Dollar Tree but this darker brown twine I'm gonna put here okay and then there sorry it was you can do it this way and just tie it in the bow. So 
So that's it everyone. Here's the finished project. These are three inexpensive and easy Dollar Tree DIY fold decor. And here it is. I propped it up along with the other accessories. That's ceramic pumpkin there in front of the hello fall sign that I got last year at Target Dollar Spot. And also this votive that has the black cap or lid. I removed the handle. It used to have a handle and because it's obtrusive, I just removed the handle and just added some twine and also LED candle also from the Dollar Tree. So this year, I didn't buy new pumpkins for this. I just repainted the old ones and made sure that I painted them in the color or theme that I like that will go with the theme where I'm going to be placing them at. Next time I have more DIYs using or updating or revamping the decor that I had last year. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please share to anyone you think may benefit from it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Leave some comments down below. I'd love to read your comments and respond to them as well. And let me know, are you buying new pumpkins or are you redecorating? Are you keeping the old ones or keeping up with the tradition? And share that in your comment down below. I do like to hear from you all. Hope you all are having a great day. Talk to you again in my next video. Take care, everyone. God bless. Bye-bye.